Alright, we want to go over the bridge. And this takes us to 50 gil. Okay, and then we want to go up to the left and once again the far left door. And we have people here! Oh, slaves! They all want us to help! Yeah, they don't they don't put much effort into the NPCs here, do they? What's up? Oh, it's Pavel again! You're Luke, right? We met in Altair! You know that Novin Bro are with him as well. Just, I, I know he's in front, but still. This girl here is Molly, Joseph's daughter. I want you to take her to be your bride. Uh, now, it's cool, dude. Borgen took her hostage and threatened to kill her unless Joseph did as he said. What? Why am I here, you ask? Well, I learned this place for Mithra or so I came to get some for myself. But they caught me! Do me a favor and distract guards. I'll get Molly and the others out of here. See you later! And then they just walk out. It's dangerous out there. Okay, so deeper into the dungeon we go. Basement 4! And we do have new enemies here. These are green slimes. Now, if I remember my Final Fantasy right, and it's usually wrong, actually. Yeah, these guys are strong against physical attacks, so you need to use magic against them. That's the only way to beat them. And uh, you guys might know them as fawns, slimes, whatever they go by. It's always the same, and that should be enough to kill them. They're very weak, usually to fire. You burn them, and then they die. That's just that's just how the game is made. So we cross over here. We get a treasure chest. We get a fire scroll. We can teach fire to somebody. If only I hadn't taught everybody that I wanted to use it already. Now from here, I want to go up and around. Everything's yeah. Everything else is a trap door. And then we head all the way down. And down the stairs to basement five. I believe we want to cross the bridge first. All the way to the left and up. And what do we get over here? I don't trust that door. And head over to the right. What do we have here? Is this... I don't think this is scripted, but just in... Yeah, no. No, it's not. Okay, and in this battle chest we get a warp scroll. Definitely worth it. But a monster suddenly appeared. This is the first actual enemy inside a, inside a box that we'll get. And it does strike first, but it missed, which is awesome. I don't know if it always strikes first, but yeah, that's not fun. What you want to do is you cast ice on it. If you don't, you're screwed. You also want to cast shield. I'm going to use it on Nova, because she has the lowest HP. Yeah, because regular attacks don't do crap. Shield 5 should help. 180 is for the win. Nice. Th that enemy is weak to ice. If you're not careful, though, you will die. That thing can one-shot most of your party. But we do get the Warp Scroll, which is awesome. And I am going to use that almost immediately. On Nova. She has learned to flee, which is awesome. Now what I want to do is head back to the bridge and all the way across. Yeah, that was the only thing on this side of the bridge. So you want to head back all the way across and up. And here we find two doors. Dun dun dun. I choose left. And in this left door, we find a soldier. Oh, oh, I know I know what happens here. I fight him if I talk to him, so I'm going to take this opportunity to heal up and drop a save. Well, memo file. Be right back. All right, it's time to fight the soldier. You will not live your life with the Mithril. He's been staying there guarding his whole life. Oh. Special boss music. We're going to take on the sergeant. First things first. I want to cast fire, because it's pretty much my strongest element right now. And I want to cast shield on everybody. I can't believe I forgot to do that in that last battle. Yes, you can cast it on everybody. Ugh. You, you've got to be kidding me. It's doing no damage. How about fire? Fire does 33. It's not bad. 
You go ahead and heal yourself. You cast over fire. You cast and uh, how about blink? Let's blink everybody. Let's get their evasion up. Holy crap, 85 damage. How is this not doing any damage? Come on, man. Fire 2, 42 damage. This is why you want to save your MP. Actually, no. No, you're... Mm. Yeah, let's go ahead and cure Mindu. More fire! You, you can't really do anything but attack. Does he have anything... Like any kind of dispel... MP... Switches... Okay, well, we're gonna try a dispel on him. I don't think it'll work. Holy crap. <sighs> Knocked out Nova. Alright, you need to cast life on Nova. God, even with the shield, it doesn't look like the dispel did crap for him. Life 7, come on, Nova. Let's get back in this. 7. She came back with 7 health. At least we got a little bit of damage there. What am I doing? You need to cure. You need to use fire. You need to attack. And you need to shield Nova. Ah, uh, and down goes Bro. Yeah. This is not an easy fight. 43 more. Oh, so close. But not quite for the win. Cure. Fire. Life. Let's bring back, let's bring back Bro. Because right now he's dead. And I don't like it when my party members are dead. Oh, nice. I can't believe that blocked. No way. Fire 2! For 36. And down goes the sergeant! Yeah, that's not an easy fight. That's why they give you Mindu. Cure magic grows a level. MP increase. Nova's intelligence increase. Bro's endurance increase. Mindu's dis level. Dispel magic. Ugh. Look at all that stuff. So many upgrades. And for our old trouble, we get... The Mithril. Nice. Let's warp the fuck out of here. Warp, please. And warp sends us all the way back outside here. Yeah. So that is that dungeon down. Holy crap. Crap, that was, that's, that's not an easy first dungeon. This game is not pulling any punches. Hold on for one second, let me heal. So it's back to Salamand we go. It's not that tough of a journey, except that we just, you know, went through that entire dungeon and then fought a tough boss. That's what makes this journey back tough. So back to Salamand. Oh my gosh, it's... It's a, it's a long walk for what we just went through, and if you ran out of MP on Mindu and Nova, or your other magic user, and you, you can't use Warp, I, I am sorry, you might not survive this. But our destination is within sight. Nice. So I am going to rest at the end here. Do you, do you guys say anything different? Oh yes, my husband has returned at last. Thank you for saving him. You are welcome, sir. Hurry, take the mithril to the princess in Altair. I have to go back to Altair? Are you serious? Your husband, too? Holy crap, it's twins. Oh, I bet you married his twin, too. Oh, it always works out that way. Yeah, that's, you say the same thing. I will heal up eventually, but first, let's talk to Joseph. What's up, dude? Yes, I saved your daughter. Borgen threatened me into lying. I just couldn't tell you the truth. Anything I can do, let me know. Where? Where is the mithril? There it is. You must hurry and take it back to Princess Hilda. She was waiting for you, of course. What's up, little girl? 
Molly, I forgot your name. Molly, thank you for saving me. You are welcome. I want that book. I know it's like, it's Ultima. I know it. Flare. Something like that, but yeah, they just won't let you take it. Okay, so time for me to heal up, and um, I might purchase some things. If not, um, we'll, we'll find a way out of here. Be right back. Alright, I'm all healed up. I did buy the life spell for Luke, but that is it. I didn't want to spend money on any of the gear here. Now, from Salaman, to get back to Poft, you want to head east. And then south. Through the mountains. And there's Poft right there. So that begs the question, why did we have to ride the airship up there if it was such a short journey? To which the answer is, God, you just do, okay? So back to Palum we, uh, we go. And then, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, Poft. Then we are going to go to Palum for 32 more gil. Yeah, it's pretty much just back to Altair from here. So I will meet you back there. Be right back. All right, and we're back in Altair. Going into the Rebel Hideout to talk to Hilda, show her the Mithril. We've completed our quest. What will you have us do? The Empire suffered considerable losses in the last great battle in Finn. Okay. And they're building the Dreadnoughts in, in Basque. Yes, we've already gone over the Dreadnought. Did I mention I bought Mithril? Yes, yes it is. Please go to the weapon shop and give it to Tobul. This is marvelous. Now we can fight the Empire on more equal ground. Sweet. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now you head down, out of the Rebel Hideout, back to the weapon shop. And this is where Tobul comes into uh, his own here. Oh, I'm a worthless old Giza. Like, he, he doesn't remember us at all. We have to show him the Mithril. Oh, that's right, it's you guys. Oh, I can totally talk to you. Is that Mithril in your hands? Good job, laddie. Now I can forge swords, knives, spears, and shields. All better than ever. And then he goes. Oh, he's done. We're good here. Buy my weapons and armor at the shops. Ooh, this is exciting. I'm selling things. I, I'm making money. What's up, dude? I'm busy, don't you see? Shoo, shoo. And yeah, now you can start buying. This is just the regular guy. You, do you have the special stuff? There we go. Mithril knife, mithril mace, mithril spear, mithril sword. This is why I didn't spend money at the other place. Back in uh, Salamand. I just got the life spell because then you can start getting the mithril stuff from these guys. It upgrades pretty much everybody. Uh, so I will be doing quite an extensive run of, of gill grinding until I can get all that stuff. So I will meet you guys next time. That's going to do it for these parts of Final Fantasy 2. When we come back, we will head to Basque to, to find out what's going on with the Dreadnought. And we'll try to sort out why Nova no longer cares where Gray is, or anybody else cares where Gray is, apparently. Dude, he was he was like our best friend, right? Whatever. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.